In less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to make your Flutter app accept payments from around the world. Securely, quickly, and with minimal code. I'll show you everything, from the Node.js backend to a beautiful payment button in Flutter. By the end of this video, you'll have a working payment button in Flutter that actually accepts money. We'll cover how to quickly set up a Node.js server for Stripe, how to connect Flutter Stripe and DIO in Flutter, how to work with Payment Sheet, and I'll show you how to avoid the most common mistakes that even experienced developers make. I'll leave the project code and backend in the description. You might wonder, why do we need a server at all if we can send a request directly from Flutter? The answer, Stripe's secret key is like a password to a bank. If you put it in client code, anyone can extract it, even without special skills. Stripe requires that the secret key only be on the server. Our Flutter client will only receive a safe client secret, and that's enough to process a payment. First thing we need is Node.js. Download it from the official website, install it, and be sure to restart your computer after installation. Next, create an account in Stripe. It's quick and free. After registration, go to the API Keys section. Here we see two keys, Publishable Key and Secret Key. The Secret Key is what we'll store on the server and will give the Publishable Key to the Flutter app. Enable Test Mode in Stripe, otherwise you won't be able to test payments. This is done with one switch in the top panel. I prepared a minimal Node.js server so you don't waste time on configuration. Link to the code is in the description. Download the project, open it in your code editor. In the root, create a .env file and declare the Stripe secret key variable there. Paste your secret key from Stripe into it. Now in the terminal, run npm install. This command will install all project dependencies. After that, start the server with nodeserver.js. If everything went successfully, you'll see a message in the console that the server is running and listening on a specific port. Let's quickly go through the server code. Here, we connect express, configure .env to read environment variables, and connect the Stripe package. We have one post root slash create payment intent. It accepts amount and currency, creates a payment intent through stripe.paymentintents.create, and returns the client secret back to the client. Everything is simple and secure. Stripe's secret key never leaves the server. Before connecting Flutter, let's check that the server works. You can use Postman or just a curl command. Send a post request with body, and in response we should get an object with client secret. If so, the server is ready. Moving to Flutter. In PubSpec YAML, add two packages. DIO for sending HTTP requests. Flutter underscore Stripe for working with Stripe payments. Run Flutter Pub get to download dependencies. After installing dependencies, let's move to creating the payment screen. Call widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized in the main method so we can initialize Stripe. And now we move to Stripe. Set the key from the website. Note, this is not the secret key we have on the website. Then call the method for apply settings. Now, let's declare the app itself. Here, we'll pass a regular screen that we'll write now. This will be a stateful widget, so we can manage state. By the way, we're doing everything in one file for educational purposes, but I have a video on my channel where I write a full application with clean architecture using Block with Stripe. And watching it, you'll better understand how to use it in large projects. Declare a variable for loading status, which is false by default. We also need to declare a DIO variable. We need it for network requests. 
we pass the address of our server to it. Since we're running it locally, we pass localhost. For Android emulator, this is 10.0.2.2. For iOS simulator, we can use 127.0.0.1. Don't forget to also specify the port. Now, let's write a method for making payment and then connect it to our button. First, set the loading variable to true. Then, we'll work inside a try block so we can handle errors. First, we need to get the payment intent client secret from our backend. For this, we execute a POST request. Use the path described in our backend. And also, don't forget about the body. Here, we pass amount and currency. Note that the amount is passed in cents, so we pass 1,000 to accept payment of $10. Then, we'll throw an exception if our request is not successful. If it is successful, we'll get client secret from our response. Then, having received the needed client secret, we can initialize payment. For this, we use the init payment sheet method from Stripe. Here, we pass setup payment sheet parameters we're required to pass client secret. After we've done this, we can call the command to actually show the payment dialog itself. For this, we call present payment sheet. Since we use a wait, completion of this method will mean successful payment. So let's show a snack bar to notify the user about this. We also need to handle possible exceptions. Here, we'll also display a snack bar with the error text. And don't forget to write a finally block to return the loading variable to false. On the screen, we use scaffold with an elevated button. If loading equals true, show circular progress indicator. If false, show a button with text, pay $10. When pressed, the button calls the make payment method. Run the app, press the button, Stripe's payment form appears. Enter test card data, 42424242422, any future date, and any CVC. Press payment, and that's it. The payment went through, and in Stripe dashboard a new transaction appeared. Now your Flutter app accepts payments from cards worldwide. All this with secure key storage and convenient payment form from Stripe. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to not miss the next videos.